Hi and welcome back to Scotty's Tech.info. I'm Scotty with my co-host Cletus and today I want to talk about notifications, uh, web push notifications. These are those things that look a little bit something like this. So you can see we get a pop-up. Will you allow www.gamespot.com to send notifications? Allow? Not now. Uh, can can you just, if you click not now, it's just going to pop up again. So you have to click here and say, okay, never allow. Okay, so now I can actually read the website. Yes, those things. Those stupid pop-ups that keep popping up and annoying you when you're just trying to read a simple web page. So if you're like me, these things were released quite a while ago and you've just been putting up with these darn things popping up all the time and you never actually use notifications and yeah if you're like me you never actually bothered to figure out how to just turn the dang things off so in this quick video i'm going to show you how to turn notifications off completely in chrome and firefox so first of all let's take a look at chrome okay here we are in chrome how do you block notifications in chrome what a lovely website that is you go up here to the not quite a hamburger button and you go down to settings now you need to scroll down and click advanced to see more settings. Now here you're gonna need under, under privacy and security, you're gonna need to scroll down and click on content settings. And then here you have notifications. So you click that and this is a little bit confusing. Uh, there's a little toggle switch here that's called ask before sending. Uh, when, if you turn that off, it actually changes it to blocked. So now that it's off, this is set to blocked and you can go to any website you want and you won't get any more notifications. That's it. Right, so that was pretty easy. Now let's see how to do it in Firefox. How do we disable notifications in Firefox? Well, we're gonna to go to the upper right hand corner up here, click the so-called hamburger button, and then we're going to pick options. And then on the left, you pick privacy and security. And then you're gonna to need to scroll down and under the permission section here, you're going to see notifications. You just click settings. And if you have any, any sites here that are allowed or blocked, they'll show up. You can remove one or remove all, but we just want to block all notifications that come in. So we're just gonna click block new requests asking to allow notifications. And then we're gonna click save changes and you're done. No more annoying pop-ups. Okay, that's it, you're done. Uh, note that with Firefox, it's actually a lot nicer because in Chrome, as far as I can tell, you can't actually figure out how to allow certain notifications from certain websites, but prevent all other notifications. And if you noticed in Firefox, uh, you can actually allow sites by either manually entering the clicking the add button and manually entering like a domain name like www.facebook.com, or you can actually uh, before you block, just go to all the websites, enable the notifications with the pop-up, and then go back into the settings in Firefox and say, okay, block all future notifications. And that way you can actually get only the notifications you want without being bombarded all the time by all these silly pop-ups. Uh, also, one final note, if you're wondering how to do this on your mobile device, it's pretty much the same process. Uh, I decided not to actually show that because in most cases, like if you have an Android smartphone, the, the notification, the little window that pops up, instead of popping up in the lower left, uh, lower right hand corner, or upper right hand corner of your screen, it actually shows up the way that every other notification shows up on your mobile device, uh, which usually involves a little message and you can swipe down, and, you know, stuff like that. So uh, on mobile devices, it's far less annoying because you're already getting tons of notifications uh, on your smartphone or tablet or whatever. So, but if you want to do it, uh, you can just go into the options menu, Firefox, Chrome for, for mobile, and it's pretty much the same thing. So, right, that's pretty much it. Um, no more pop-ups. For more techie tips, see scottystech.info. Thanks for watching. See you next time.